Hey everyone, it's Tim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have another non-Mandalorian, non-writing video for you today. Uh, this is another robotics one. Um, again, this is not sponsored. This is just something that my son and I like to play with. Um, our family loves robotics and building little kids at home. They're especially good for a five-year-old. It's obviously a plus. So uh, before I did a video on the uh, sawfish robot, that's the spinning blade one that's similar to Tombstone that you see on BattleBots. And we had so much fun with it, we went back to uh, FingerTech and purchased another one of their side, um, their science salad uh, winning kits. Uh, like I said, again, this is not sponsored. This is just me loving a product, so I just wanted to share it with you guys. So we're going to do a quick unboxing, show you what you get, and then we'll dive into a building uh, video. So um, FingerTech, if you haven't been there before, they have lots of great parts and kits that you can build, you know, small robots, bigger robots, whatever you're looking to do. And one of the lines they carry is uh, from the science salad. And basically everything is thin. It's all like 0.1 and 0.2 inch. Um, I believe it's basswood and it's all laser cut. So it's, you know, pretty uh, cheaply made, um, but it's robust for what you're trying to do with it. So especially if you have two wooden robots battling each other, they're gonna be able to handle it pretty well. And then if you need to make replacement parts, you can either make it out of Lexan or you can make it out of more basswood or something yourself. Uh, if you have a laser cutter, that's awesome. If not, you can make it on a bandsaw. And um, you know, even if you don't have access to any CAD files or whatever, you can basically trace it out with the broken pieces, cut it on your bandsaw, jigsaw, whatever you're gonna use. Scroll saw is probably best given how small some of the details are and you can make your own replacement part. So it's great for a kid that's just learning how to drive. Um, so what we went with today was the uh, the Hammerhead Shark, which is a hammer one. Um, it's kind of like Blacksmith uh, that you see in BattleBots, except it doesn't have flames coming out of the head. Uh, it's just like the other one that you saw. You get uh, basically all the fasteners, hardware, buttons that you need. You get a battery pack that has four AA's in it with a connector coming out. You get a charging kit connector that all you need is just a um, you know USB to 120 uh, adapter. Um, two wheels, they're nice and kind of grippy. We drive pretty much down in our basement, which is a percotype floor and it sticks really well to it. Um, then you get basically everything all pre-wired and connected that you need. Uh, they include um, batteries for the controller itself. So all you're really gonna do is just connect everything together, super straightforward. And then here's the fun stuff. So as I said, it's basically 0.1 and 0.2. So they go heavy duty on the hammer parts uh, as it is gonna take a beating and you can see it's actually doubled up. So by the time you have your hammer assembled, it's almost a half inch of wood um, that's come down and hitting. And then um, some of these are different connector pieces. They're a little stronger. Then they go thinner on the top and bottom plates as you, you know, unless you have another hammer that you're fighting, you don't need a ton there. And then just like you saw in the other video, um, you get a controller um, with all the pieces there. It's, you know, super simple, a lot of fun. And, um, you know, it's gonna be a, a great build for my son and I. So let's uh, cut to a build video. Uh, we'll go through time-lapse. You don't have to sit there and painstakingly watch us do every single step. And then uh, we can drive it after. All right. So that was a lot of fun. Um, as you saw, my son got a little distracted. We had uh, some new Duplos out. And I think the fact that he had built the other one just a little while ago, uh, maybe he had shaken out of his system. Remember, he's only five. Uh, so if you're building this with an older kid um, who has more of an attention span, you probably get them to build a robot with you longer. Uh, but either way, I had fun building it. Um, so as you recall with my last one, I built the Sawfish, uh, which is a rotary blade. Um, this one is more of a, um, you know, hammer axe attacker, and it was a lot of fun to drive. Um, took some getting used to, uh, doing the uh, motion back and forth and trying to drive. I guess that's a reason why with the bigger robots they have a driver and a weapon specialist. 
Um, but you know, after a couple rounds of hitting stuff, uh, started to get more of a hang of it. Um, you know, especially because you can return anytime you want, but then you know, be ready to strike it. So the differences and things that I saw with this one, uh, to start simply the controller. Um, last time I put the um, battery cover on. This time I just left it off because it's a lot easier and less likely to break stuff. I figured I don't really care if the batteries are exposed. Uh, so that's the only thing I did differently this time. Um, these all went together nicely. Uh, for the robot itself, um, this one was kind of tricky. The tolerancing on the cuts and pockets were really tight. The bolts um, really had a hard time going through the wood uh, where they should have been slip fit holes. Uh, but obviously by that same account, the screws that went in and were actually biting into the wood worked really well. Uh, so just note that when you go to put them together, um, you know, especially these square pockets, you know, I can't really fault them, whoever did the wood cutting on this, because, you know, to get that laser burn in there and get, you know, that size rectangle to match that one with just enough of a press fit, it's really hard. I mean, it's wood, it's organic. It's not, you know, like machining stainless steel with, you know, 10,000th precision or something. Um, the little things is you go to do it yourself, if you didn't notice, you gotta disconnect the weapons motor uh, to be able to slip it through. If you leave it plugged in, you're not gonna be able to get it uh, because of the output shaft. As you notice, I actually ripped the connector off the circuit board. Um, I was able to slip it back on and it felt like it was snug, so I'm happy with that. But you know, if I ever pull it apart and I see it's loose, maybe I'll solder it in or something just to make sure. Um, the battery, the battery fits just barely in between the two motors and it only works if the button heads of the screw are on the inside of the wood here. Originally I did it the opposite because I noticed the nuts were like just barely rubbing so I wanted to give myself more clearance but whereas this occasionally rubs if you have the nuts on the inside of the wood brackets to hold the drive motors the battery will not fit at all. Um, so as you noticed in the video I ended up taking it apart and putting it back together. Um, not a big deal. The um, the back plate and the front little wedge that they have on here, all that went together very easily. Um, you know, this is nice. The axe hits the back plate here. So even if you leave your wires hanging out like I do, you're not really worried about hitting it. Um, this is actually pretty clever. The way that they did these two pieces where one bolts up to that, slips into the pocket, and then the other one goes underneath, and then you screw it down. So it's it's really solid. It's, it's on there nice and tight. And it really only attached with technically one screw to the actual robot and then you know just two to the motor um, overall I thought this was a neat build uh, very straightforward um, this is another one from the um, the science salad and um, you know I bought it through finger tech uh, once again not sponsored by finger tech just a um, love the company trying to help them out um, by showing my thoughts um, from buying this and uh, building it myself so the great thing is is now we have Two robots in the house so in a future video you'll probably see uh, Liam and I kind of messing around and just bashing each other um, and I'm also thinking of building a tiny little arena for him uh, so that we could battle it out in the arena and then um, you know as he gets a little bit older uh, we're gonna start kind of getting ourselves into the one pound uh, range for doing some little combat robots and this would serve as a good test arena um, you know, I could even put like a Lexan cover over or something if I'm worried about weapons testing and something blowing up. Um, you know, maybe we could fit two, three pounders in there, but I doubt it. Um, I don't want to build a huge because it's just going to sit down in the basement where you saw us building. But um, now I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So you'll see that next time. Um, since I made this, uh, the last video, I mean, I ended up getting a new uh, Prusa Mark III. Uh, so... You might see me do some modifications, you know, maybe we'll build a different hammer and I could build out of like ABS or something like that, or maybe some polycarb. Um, you know, I, heck, I could even cut my own custom things on a scroll saw or something. Um, the mounting was real easy. It slips over uh, basically a D shaft and there's just a single screw that goes into the hole on the output shaft. Um, so yeah, if this ever breaks or I just want to like fool around and try something new, uh, very easy to swap those on and off. Uh, so yeah. Once again, I highly recommend this. This is the Hammerhead Shark Kit um, purchased through Finger Tech. I'll put all the information down in the description below if you want to go get one yourself. 
And um, if you have any questions or comments, um, looking for tips and tricks, um, basically all the stuff I did wrong, and I can help you do it the right way the first time, uh, just hit me down in the comments. And if you like this kind of stuff, uh, give it a like, and um, I'll know that you'll appreciate it and you want to see more stuff like this in the future. So until then, uh, keep having fun building robots, and I'll talk to you later. All right, thanks. Bye.